What do we want to do for this final? I'm here for about, well, about 35 minutes. I got to leave close to seven. I got a massage. I got to go to and I need to eat some Din Din first. So what looks really awesome? What, what control, oops, control cards does Rogue have that we can do cool things with? What's fun? You request a hunter? Eh. What, what kind of deck are we in the mood for? Tempo Mage. Sure. Well. You know. I, I think I am going to. If you make a wild deck, you can only use it in wild games. Uh. Is the King of Manor is too slow. Go to fatigue, yeah. Hmm. Is this what we're gonna do? Is this what we wanna do? Dread steed, man, a dread steed is a dead steed. I think I think I did something like this. Where's the, what's her name? The Grove Tender. Oh my god. How I missed you. I think we actually maybe do want Fandral in this deck. He seems nice. Yeah, do you want to lie down right there? Is that good? You're a very good cat. You know, I think some antiques would be very serving of us here. So we want to have some nice hard removals, like some swipes, like some poison seeds. Like some star falls. I think star fires are probably an appropriate choice here as well, but nothing probably much higher on the curve. I don't want these, I don't want these, I already have tree of life, I already have so much healing. Truest anti fatigue tech. Let's see, we can get Bran in here. He's great. Some Death Lord. I think maybe I want Death Lords. I want to say that I do want Death Lords in here. Raven Idols be interesting to us. The swords really suck ass. They don't do anything for us. Understand this. Well, I don't really need anti fatigue. Sludge vultures are appealing to me. This 
Sludge Belchers and Nazoth. Kind of sounds good. Kind of like this. Just to really help us delay the shit out of the game. Oof. There is one that I really want in here. Just a car, true heart. There we go. One would help with fatigue. I actually don't think we have any problems with fatigue right now. I think healing touch was the right pull there. It feels nice. It feels nice. They do the same thing. Against a row. I think I always keep just a car. Hmm. Oh my god, this is so great. So we have a little bit of draw. Okay. We have no we have no innervates, none none of this ramp shit. We're not trying to be able to get spikes, we're trying to be able to have smooth, even gameplay. Pointing out just a car would be great here. All right, we're up against Styles, the rogue. I love interesting ways of winning. Really, really love interesting ways of winning. Um, one thing that I like a lot about um, the way some win conditions feel in Hearthstone compared to Magic, um, although what I'm saying is not always true and this exists in Magic as well, but th there's this thing that happens sometimes in Magic decks where you can just fucking spike and win just like abruptly. I tend to like a few extra turns of action in there. You know, I like the fact that when we we're gonna fatigue here, and um, you know, it's going to I like the fact that we're going to fatigue here, and it's gonna take several turns of thinking over a long period of time. The reason it's not exactly true to compare it to Master Gathering why it's done is that those hundred percent exist. Like, you know, to follow your Drown Yard decks, you take a lot of turns to just, like, mill and chip away and shit. Except in, in Match the Gathering, there's a lot of decks where you choose to do that, and there's other decks. Almost any type of way in which you want to win exists. I just... Yes, yeah, the Thorn Mouse is most just like Modern Legacy, then. Yeah, this is part of the reason why I tend to steer towards Standard and Drown and Magic. Welcome to the Grand Tournament where there's a mill, there's a way. He has a lot of backstabs, okay. Fine. So I wrap this and then hang that. So like, um, I do like that uh, some of the decks here in Hearthstone just consistently have these sort of evolving, intriguing no types of games. playouts. Chill a little bit. Story Lunch Queen says, I still wish True Heart gave Hunter 4 damage button and not just 3. God, that would be amazing. God, that would be that would be sick, man. The shadows beckon. 
more analysis. I like modern as it stands I currently. No I play elves, but mostly I just play very little anymore because I get tired of, oh my god, a girl. Fuck, man, that must be so annoying. <laughs> Alright, so go hit, hit, and then swipe, you think? Oh, it's fine. Too fast and loose here with my health. Oh, no, I just feel very healthy. Yeah, I can't imagine how annoying that is. Because I mean, like, I certainly know how clueless I was when I was a kid. Yeah. You know? Oh my god, it's a girl party. Oh my god, I want to. You know, and you get that. You get that thing when you're a kid. You're like, I need to be brave and go out and meet people, and this is how the relationship's gonna happen. And it doesn't occur to you, it's just fucking annoying, man. You just gotta stop it because you're being annoying. Like, what I'm doing is only thinking about my own feelings here, right? Play another card. Play another one. He's not done much card draw. We will draw it for him. If only I'd known. I like fatigue. Fatigue's like maybe my favorite win condition in this whole game because it feels like it's, the lo it's just long evolving. I'm, on this turn, I have to do this, and then I'm probably gonna have to run that out. Build up armor, man. So, I mean, I'll note that I'm more than two thirds of the way through my. or about two. Huh. Okay, I think it's actually okay. Yeah, now that I have this guy, it's great. Or, I'm almost two thirds of the way through my deck, and so. Let's see what we mill. As long as we. Uh, milling any of these guys is fine. That hurts. That really does hurt. Gonna go ahead and kick them all these down. My hand is full. Alright, something just happened. The masseuse picked me though. Ow. For 
I actually might not want a cold light. Maybe. I think I want to just play it slow and hero power it up. And instead focus on Useful Brewmaster on the Nizoth. Okay. Probably hit the 2 8. Oh, really? Oh, really again? I mean, I, I feel very comfortable in this game so far. I'm probably going to spend a turn doing a little armor gainage. Uh, actually, I see no reason not to. Yes, I do. Death does not scare me. See what we want to do. Job's done. Okay. Vital Illusions be a viable card put instead of a healing touch. Fairy of Tree of Life, Feral Rages, can you switch out? Um, this is an, um Violet Illusionist, I think would be a useful card. If I, if my goal was, um, do a big bursty, oh my damn, that would be an amazing card if it was do a burst of damage with fatigue. So for instance, if I was doing something like brand cold light, cold light, um, which is a warrior combo where you go brand violet illusionist, cold light, cold light. then it works great because you can accept 50 or 60 damage of fatigue yourself in order to deal 50 or 60 damage of fatigue to him. And that's good, right? That's just a very good outcome. Um, but in this deck, this is more... you take one damage and I deny you. You take another damage and I deny you. You take another damage and I deny you. You take another damage and I deny you. You know, so there's a, there's a lot of turns that wind up happening with these fatigue decks, and for that reason I think that Violet Illusionists are not as effective. Oh my god, fuck yes, dude. Holy shit. Can't believe we're gonna be able to pull this shit off. Works great. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I remember the warrior mill you ran, got the combo off, and I think hit for like 60 to 70 in one turn against another warrior. Yeah. Yeah. Felt good. Felt good. Okay, so who are we up against? This could this could be an aggro token druid, so I'm gonna keep the cold light. Uh, excuse me, keep the death lord, and I think this combo is good in case I'm completely mistaken. Uh, nature nature's BF LOL says I think running fatigue warrior and cold lights with the new two mana card add hand to deck will be good. Maybe yeah, I don't know. I'd have to I'd have to think about it a little bit. The reason I'd have to think about it is. Um, the reason I have to think about it is, so, Fatigue Warrior decks work in the following fashion. 
I'm a warrior, and I have really efficient removal cards in the form of strong weapons. And I have a lot of really great armor gain. Which means I don't need to draw as many cards necessarily. Um, because I can just go head to head with you for a long time. So this is also true for control warriors, the traditional control warrior. Why would the traditional control warrior last for so damn long? Well, they would just grind and grind and grind until they could finally play their two shield maidens and then Alexstrasza and then Gromash. Or go all the way until they get Alexstrasza and Ysera, right? Again, the efficient removal and the strong armor gain meant that they did not necessarily need lots and lots of card draw. They had lots of individual cards that could be potent instead of needing combos of cards. And so naturally, this circumstance lends warriors to being able to go to fatigue and last several turns into fatigue successfully. And so someone said, well, why don't I just fucking get some benefit of this, and then once we're at fatigue, I throw the cold lights down and burst you for a shitload of damage in fatigue. I already have a bunch of armor, and I'll use that in order to make me successfully wipe you out. And it turns out that this doesn't quite work. Oh my shit, it's a handlock. I'm gonna keep my health high in this. And so for that reason, running a Violet Illusionist is very useful to go one or two turns into Fatigue, and then Bran, Violet Illusionist, Cold Light, Cold Light, POW! 60 damage, no problem. Um, and so, when I stop and ask myself the question, you know, what about running the new Warrior card? It's a two-mana epic that says shuffle a copy of your hand into your deck. So if you have that, in your hand twice, you can play this to shuffle that into your deck, so then you can draw both of those again and play it. Great. You, you can do this in order to get infinite cold lights, but the reason that I'm going, huh, how would that, uh, how might that work, is because um, Fatigue Warriors are actually not very strong. For all the logic and rationale that I just provided, there's not fucking great decks, you know. And what this new warrior card opens up the possibility of is the warrior being able to do more card draw. Which is great. The problem, if you are trying to go to fatigue with having a shitload of card draw, is if I have like Acolytes of Pain and Slams and Whirlwind Effects, I could draw nine more cards than my opponent as a warrior. And if I'm trying to burst him with fatigue, fuck, how am I going to get through all this shit? Well, this is great. Youthful Brewmaster one time. My hand is too full. See if we can maybe just get a good kill here. I think it's okay for me to do this. Although it makes me uncomfortable. I think it's, I think it's okay to do And those are two very different kinds of things to consider. A deck that gains permission to be able to draw all these awesome and interesting things. A deck that has the permission to draw all these things, and then a deck that's trying to construct in the super efficient way. Because things like running an additional weapon, if you're in a fatigue deck, makes total sense. Because you need to be able to have something that can gain value over two turns for one card. Nice. Um, you can cut weapons and... Oh, I remember Dark Bomb. You can cut weapons and, and put more drawy things in. You don't need to do that. So, pretty much any draw here is great. Except... Who knows what secrets will uncover? Huh. How do I want to do this shit? 
I'm gonna rip a Death Lord. I'm really good. I meant rip it in the other way, but I guess that's fine. So the short statement is that most fatigue decks can't have too much draw because then it makes you unable to kill your opponent with fatigue because you're deeper in fatigue. But if you have this anti-fatigue mechanism that is all up in ya, sounds good. Sounds like you could do something more interesting with that, but that's a very different deck construction. A deck that has a lot of draw to get to combos versus a deck that can't even put in a lot of draw, so it has to be efficient. So I'm giving a confident I don't know with lots of thorough explanations. I think I want this down sooner rather than later, because I have turn 9 coming up. Is Dancing Swords instead of Grove Tender too slow for this deck? It would work with Nazoths too. Um, oh, it would work with Nazoths. That's, what, that's a really good point, but um, the card just sucks so much. I have no time for games. It just sucks such an enormous shitload. Alright, so I'm going to do this, and go in here, and we're just going to wait. We will we will warmly accept the damage from this. That's a very, very fortunate draw for him. But I'll take some damage, pop with a Starfire probably, and then heal up. Does Poison Seeds plus Exploding Sheep still work? I believe it did once upon a time, but I definitely did it on air, and it did not do a damn thing. You haste Jaraxxus, and our lord of the burning land. Oh, interesting. Okay. Interesting, interesting, interesting. So, our rough game plan is going to be to try to uh, delay the game by accepting a lot of damage. It's a big relief. This seems like... Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 13, 15... Okay. I want to kill this in case he has some sort of bounce effect. Um, obviously, the thing that we are most worried about is Leroy Jenkins' power overwhelming burst to kill us. Depending upon what he does on this particular turn, we shall see. Great, that is such a nut draw. Poison seeds. Deal two damage. Pass. This is nice. This is nice coming right up. This is a very nice power turn. We get some Death Lords on the field, and then we also have Poison Seed Starfall again. I don't exactly want an Azoth on the last turn because he has a little too much power where he could both clear and probably kill me. So I, I want to reduce him down to like one or two and at most three things on the board before I Nizoth. <sighs> well, okay. as hell dude holy shit so a few more cards and we just kill him all right a few more cards and we just kill him if we rip a naturalize we'll kill him even sooner 
Dude, one out of three chance to pull the Sludge Belcher. That is lucky as hell, man. What? Siphon Soul. Siphon Soul, yes, thank you, yes. Yes, you are very kind and generous. This was a great call on the, the Nazoth, by the way. This is just excellent. Okay, so um, if we pull anything out, we can kill him. <laughs> Which High Devil Zero says one out of three is like 150% in the Day 9 TV world. That is true. So, Bran Oracle is to draw four. If we naturalize, he draws another two. So, he would be taking three damage. And if we another turn, that's six damage. If we can deal a little bit of damage here, we're in good shape. I think that this is where he needs to twisting. Nether, nether, nether. Because we're getting back together. This is sh insanely fun. No problems. Please summon. Yes! <laughs> oh, we won. <laughs> oh, God, that's glorious. Yeah, yeah. Oh, just a car at the bottom. Against a warlock. Something roughly like this. This is just good. This is just a good card to have because the, these are like my single point removal, rats, other things. Um, this is good against a zoo. This is good against Mill and Zoo, so. No Thursday, though, since Sean's you flying out on the fourth. Do each player gains a mana crystal, so I can just get my swipes out earlier, my more combony pieces. Because I mean, he should just pop right here and accept a little damage, and then I can swipe this target. Why do you call? Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! Get it out! This is a good turn. We're about to have a good turn. This is all really good. Naturalized Death Lord, excellent combo. Let's just go ahead and get rid of the little guys. Now whatever he next plays, it's fine. Unless he draws a Doom Gourd, which is annoying, but it's not really a huge deal. Total corruption, total power. Interesting. Okay. Actually, ju does change shit a little bit. I was not expecting him to run that, because maybe I'm not the best player in the world. It's hard for us to die. <laughs> Let's 
Let's slow this asshole down. Oh my god, Zoo can run power roll and then I forgot. Oh jeez. Oh no. Oh man, I forgot about this, dude. I just lost. Oh, shit. Oh my god. He deserved it. He earned it. I forgot that card even existed. I forgot even that card existed. Against a sha 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 man. So what we want to do is we want to have ooh that's good. Bye bye. Probably want to keep the starfall given that there's a lot of swarmy guys out there. Probably don't want two starfalls. Maybe I'll, I do want to chuck starfall back because it's such a critical combo piece with poison seeds. But maybe that's okay. What I do is I just look for a big target and treat poison seeds as, seeds as spot removal. That actually makes sense to me. Four. Oh. I forgot about these cards. I forgot these. Tunnel man. Die. I can't believe it. I like. He's gonna probably put Spirit Claws out there. I mean, this is. This is like the opposite of what Neo in the Matrix experienced. He just... Uh, I'm remembering all the bad memories I tried to forget! See, I can't even do anything now. I need to just, like, weakly pop an O2. Oh, God. I mean, this is a naked brand bronze beard. Look at him. He's like, hey, Sean! God, I'm gonna need to, like, coin out Starfall and kill it. And then nothing! What? Grove Tender. How do I forget about Dex that quickly? Alright, I'm gonna try to deal 5 damage to him. I'm gonna see if this works for us. Good that I cleared it out already. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at these slow cards that I put in my own deck all by myself! Okay, I, I, I gotta draw a card here, I believe. I am positive that, because I need to begin to clear stuff. I think I really do need my Swippy Swipes. Maybe I just need things like Wild Pyromancers. This is unfortunately my last game, so we're hoping to win. We're hoping to we're hoping to be. Twitch.tv slash Artosis. I understand Artosis is streaming. Fuck yeah, I guess he's getting hosted. Hey guys, listen to me, listen to me. StarCraft Remastered is coming out on the 14th. 14th. And uh, a lot of folks in Korea are already getting access to StarCraft Remastered. I, though technically I can get access to StarCraft Remastered, I'm about to go to TI, so I'm just sitting, indulging in the beauty of that, so that when I emerge, I can immediately indulge in the beauty. 
of SCBW Starcraft Brood War. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna host Artosis and it's gonna be sick. So when you get there, please say hi to him, please ask him how he's doing, wish him luck, cheer him on. All of us Starcraft pros are ridiculously rusty. Um, take the opportunity to be empathetic. Because <laughs> I think we're all gonna have a little bit of uh, catching back up to our old selves to do once the 14th hits. Uh, and I hope you guys just uh, enjoy his Terran play too. Uh, one of the best Terran... I don't even want to say North Americans, just Americans. Just in North and South America, Artosis was an excellent powerhouse in the days. And you know what he still fucking is? He's the fucking best, man. So let's host Artosis, and I'll see you in a sec. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. You won't see me in a sec, but I'll see you at Artosis' stream.